Dawn, I mean, this is incredible what's happened here and it's ingenious and what you're holding in your hand is the reason how this is possible and how it works and yeah. you're going to talk so, us through it so it kind of mimics penile anatomy all right so th these are like the spongy the, the spongy vascular chambers that you have in the penis and when you get aroused you get an influx of um of blood into the penis in this case we've got i think it's saline in here this is actually underneath most skin in his abdomen right and then this so that's the reservoir is that's it? the reservoir these chambers lie in the penis, which has been reconstructed from skin in his forearm. And this little part actually sits next to the testicle in the scrotal sac. And literally, Mo can just push that and we just push that a few and times. So the water from the reservoir the water then goes from this down reservoir. the tube goes down the tube and actually this it really it's, is a very it's working, firm it's working device better now, yeah. okay so if you you can see that that's really quite solid, solid yeah. all right um and then so if you if you hold them can i just come around there because i just want to because they look very obviously when they're sitting in your hand they look very mm. similar so if they're like that yes so that's so and then how that's do erect. you how do you how do you release it you then press this button which is again underneath the skin yeah and it's going to be surprised you watch yeah <laughs> No, it won't go down. Here you go, now you're going to have to do that. <laughs> you do have to press quite firmly. There we go, they're starting to go down now. Okay, it's so, just because so, it's new, that's yeah. obviously yeah. why. You know, so this, so. this this button, the button that Dawn is pressing there, is yeah. actually... Is, there oh, there you go. go. Oh, wow. Well, so, Gosh, yeah. that suddenly wow. happened, okay. didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very sudden there. <laughs> Someone at the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so that button is in your scrotum. Yeah, so, just slightly above the one that's obviously... There's a deflate and an inflate button. Yeah. So so obviously inflate first and then when you finish the deflate. So d so you have to press that through the skin, do you? Yes. So does it not hurt when you press the button? Uh, it is a bit sore just now because it's obviously fairly new. Yeah. But over time period it'll calm down, you know? So that, that's the mechanic sorted, yeah. but sensation-wise, how does that feel? Does it feel the same? Does it? Is it what an, another man would experience, or...? I, I'd, I'd say it doesn't feel like another man would feel, you know, I mean, I'm totally different, you know, right. because obviously it's because I've got that. I mean, it's not like if I sit and watch something, you know, I start getting sensation, nothing yeah. like that. I physically have to do something, but once right. it's there, you know what I mean, there's no it's holding me back, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> once, it's, once it's there, yeah. it'll stay there for days. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Which is, and, the, and, and they've... Funny so you should say that, you know, when obviously I, I came out of hospital on the 10th of um, January, and uh, sorry, 10th of June, July, um, I'd got trained back up to Scotland and um, I had to keep it, it was erect for two weeks. <laughs> You had to, you, and you had to do that for yeah, it to heal. For, for it to heal, because oh, that's wow. the way it works. You're sitting there with a bag on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I managed to, I managed to do something to not get yeah. uh, noticed. You Good know? gracious! So, so, so that they have taken, uh, and you've got, you have now uh, yeah. an eight-inch penis because yeah. they've taken that from your. Uh, yeah, they took it from my arm. Yeah. If you want to. Well, you're not it. tempted yeah. to say, could you take it up to here? No, I never. I wasn't. I wasn't given a choice. And this is where the skin grafts have been this taken there in order for them to do. Initially, yeah. that was meant. That was done three years ago. So over the time period, they took that first, and then they shaped it, and then did whatever they did. The old, the old one I had, I mean, it never went to waste. Um, my surgeon, um, he used that to make my scrum. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, and what about um, sort of future relationships with women and things like that? I mean, will you be very open about what's happened yeah, to you? I will, yeah, I will now because I've, you know, I've learned the hard way. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, I, that's something I need to get into my head. You know, be right. honest. I've, I've got something to show for it now, so I think it's right to be honest. You know, yes. rather than you know before, uh, hold on a minute, yeah, you know, maybe, yeah, yeah, you know, but now it's totally the opposite. You know, yeah. what about because because this happened to you, this terrible accident when you were only six years old, so you are still a virgin. Yes, I'm still um, a virgin. What yeah. about children? Children, yeah, that's a possibility. That's um, I've got an outpatient appointment on the first of October when my doctor's going to be discussing um, future what he's wanting to yeah. do, you know, obviously. And he's, uh, in the meantime, I mean, he knows what my testosterone levels are and he knows, like, you know, how much sperm I'm producing. Everything's normal. Mm. It's yeah. probably better than yours. I've, uh, <laughs> I've, I've no doubt about it. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't quite know what to say. <laughs> um, so that that is actually uh, it's quite heavy, isn't it? It is quite heavy, yeah. Um, and you're aware that it's. Yeah. Heavy. And we were having a conversation earlier, and you were saying, you know, you've been chatting to friends and saying, you know, does your penis feel heavy? Because of course, it's, I this don't is know all these things, uncharted no, territory just, just, yeah. for Mo. Um, so it is quite heavy. But I mean, and uh, these kind of devices are used, for example, in in gentlemen who might have had their penis removed because of a cancer or something. 
something or maybe for people who are impotent. Mo's story obviously is, is very, very, thankfully, mm. unusual. Um, but although you lost one testicle, you, you retained one testicle, yeah. didn't you? Um, and so that's why he can still produce sperm. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, fathering a child is quite a possibility. The, the physical aspect so closely with, with this particular part of a, a guy's body, um, so closely uh, re revolves around your mental uh, state of mind yeah. and, and, and we started off by talking about how you felt then. How do you feel now? Now I feel brilliant. I feel, I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, I'm still a virgin, but I'm working on that, you know. Um, <laughs> but I feel, I feel brilliant, you know, I mean, I just, I feel like, you know, before people like, always got the impression that I was walking along the road, somebody was talking about me, but not now, you know, I've got, I've got something to show for.